when in doubt, simp it out. Hello everybody, welcome to today's deck profile which is going to be focused on Angel Feather. So recently one of my friends got me into Rent a Girlfriend. And I, to put an understatement on it, am addicted to it. So Chizuru, best girl, but Gavriel, pretty close second. Gavriel's really, really good. I honestly think she's the best deck of the format right now. And even with Bermuda out, this deck has an insane ability to close out games because instead of building around your VR like most VR decks, I think that this deck is specifically built around Hamiel. So Hamiel, for those of you guys who don't know, can stop Sentinels and counter at the cost of Counter Blast 3, gain 10k and a crit. And with all the rescue checks that you're doing, you can essentially OTK your opponent on turn 3. It's all really good, but without further ado, let's hop into the video. So starting off, the deck is focused on this card right here, Hamiel. Hamiel, as I said, stops Sentinels, gains a crit, 10k, and you want to stack all your triggers on this card right here. But her other skill, which is really good, is Counter Blast 1 when placed, if you have a Vanguard with Black in its name, which most of the time you will. You could call a card from a damage zone and rescue check 1, which essentially take a damage. And with how many crits you run this deck, it's going to be a crit if you hit a trigger most of the time. And then for our other grade 3, you have Gabrielle. Uh, no comp. Nah, just kidding. She's the she's the main grade 3 that you want to ride. What makes her really good is that during your turn, if three cards were put into your damage zone this turn, your whole front row gains 10k, which is super powerful effect. And her other skill, which is also good, which enables like a bunch of the combos for this deck, is that counter bless 1, soul bless 1, choose a card from your damage zone, add it back to your hand, and then choose a card from your damage zone, turn it to the bottom of your deck. And then you take two damage. Note, this could be used even if you have one damage to essentially give yourself an extra damage. But what's really good is with how many cards that use Counter Blast in this deck is essentially a Counter Charge 2, so you could pay the Counter Blast 3 cost for Hamiel. However, the main counterplay to this deck is Damage Deny. And one of the cards that we play to use around it is three copies of the Grade 3 No Seal, which seems a bit, little bit excessive for some of you guys, but the thing is, you gotta hit this card this format. This card is really, really good at closing out games for you, especially on turn three, because one place you soul blast one, choose a card from your deck with no seal on stand, put it into your damage zone, and then at the end of turn, you put a card from your damage zone to the bottom of your deck. This could be used to put your opponent out of healing range, which is really good, because most of the time you don't want your opponent to heal, so you could just one-shot them with Hamiel. And then at the same time, give yourself an extra damage to get the three damage necessary to pay the cost for Hamiel Sentinel and Critical Gaining Ability. Nobody cares about the second skill unless you play a no-seal deck, which is a completely different build. But yeah, that's it for the grade threes. Now onto the grade twos, we have two copies of Ther Theromachy Angel? I don't know. This card's okay. I mainly want to try the grade two no-seal on the spot and then play two copies of the Phoenix and one grade three no-seal and then play two grade two no-seals just so you keep the same amount of targets. And could play into the mirror with the Phoenix's skill to guard from the damage zone. But this card's okay for now. With its skill to essentially gain 5k either time a card is put into your damage zone during your turn or during your opponent's turn, so it's a 14k body. It's really nice. Uh, it can hit unboosted and it hits 24 with Gavriel's skill actives, meaning that you can hit force, excel, and protect vanguards without being boosted. Main grade twos of the deck, this is the first one, Salafiel. So Salafiel is really good. One of the one of the ways they balance this deck out is making all the rescue check cards hard once per turn to the name. So during your turn, if a card is put into your damage zone, it gains plus 10k, so it's already 19, and then 29 if Gavriel's skill is active. And then one place, Soul Bust 1, heal a card from your damage zone, and then take a damage. So it's another chance for you to see a critical and put it on your Hamiel. And then we have for J Jaffiel. So Jaffiel is really good because one place, you Counter Blast 1, put a card from your damage zone back to your hand, so it's essentially a break even because Ride is a minus 1, or the Call is a minus 1. You get that card back. And then you t um, take a damage, so it's essentially free because you just counter blast the card and you add it back, and then you just take a damage. So it's another way to get your rescue chain going. Super good, super important, and that's why we play this at four with four um, Salafiel. They don't really have any other rescue check grade twos or card grade two cards that give you damage, so the last slot where the Theroparity Angel is pretty flexible. Now onto the grade ones, we have four copies of Black Call Nakir. Nakir is the grade three searcher. Like I said, you want to be able to see your grade threes because Hamiel is a win con. Uh, you need to ride your Gavriel because Gavriel is also a win con. And then in the situations where you need that damage, no seal is a win con for you. So that's why I play a bunch of grade threes and still play four grade three searchers to boot. Here, during your turn, if a new card was put into your damage zone this turn, it gets 5k, just like all the grade three searchers, meaning that it could hit 23k unboosted with Gavriel skill active, which is really nice. And also a 13k booster for Hamiel, so can't ignore that. And then we have 
four copies of Scaling Angel, one of the MVPs for this deck in my opinion, just because it could essentially reset your damage zone. And Angel Feather is known for having the damage zone be a second hand, as people call it. So that's why we played this card. So when placed on Vanguard Circle, you discard and draw, yada, 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 replace your Quick Shield, nothing too special there. But then on Rearguard Circle, when placed, if your drop zone has a normal unit, just put a grade two or less face-up card from your damage zone into your soul and then choose a normal unit from your drop zone and put it into your damage zone. So what I like about this is that it could essentially reset your damage zone as a hand for you uh, due to Gavriel's skill, which essentially states that you add a card to your hand as well. You could pretty much put whatever in there at some points in the game and be very selective with what you're adding back to your hand. Because let's say you need like a grade three searcher or something to get your Hamiel or, or another attacker or whatnot. You could put it into from your drop zone into your damage zone with Gilly Angel skill, sorry, and then add it back with Gabriel skill and then use its skill from there to add like a Hamiel or a No Seal after you play it because it's an axe. So you still could do other skills in your main phase. But yeah, that's why we play this card. I know some people like the card that gains power on rear guard if a new card was put into your damage in the grade one. That card's fine too. I just like this card a little more. You could go 2-2, two, two, which isn't bad at all. And then, of course, the other grade 1, the black grade 1. The other black grade 1, which is Zalafiel, I think is how you say it. I don't know. These Angel Feather names are whack. But when this attack hits on Vanguard Circle, you draw a card. Super free. Your opponent's not going to let this hit. One of the counterplays that people do is guard early. So this is one of the cards that they want to make sure that doesn't hit. And then one place, discard a card from your hand. Add a card from your damage zone back to your hand. So another way this interacts with Scaling Angel and then rescue check one, so you just take a damage. Just another way to start uh, the rescue chains, and of course it's limited to itself. Like I said, that's their way of balancing this deck. And then our starter, Medical Kit Angel. And then 12 crits, the Sentinel crit is in here as well. And then four heals. So one of the reasons, like crits are a win con for this deck. Essentially, if I had the no seal crit, I would honestly go 16 crit. I think that you would have to in this deck just because you want the whole focus of this deck is to close out games and win as fast as possible with your Hamiel's abilities to stop Sentinels and your opponent's not going to be able to respond especially if you get it off on your first grade 3 ride. So yeah, that's why we run the 12 crits. It's all super powerful plays. But yeah, that's it. That's pretty much the deck list. I want to thank you all for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Yeah.